once in a while real life breaks out, and I know that's been the case for, for several of these players dealing with some things going on in the Caribbean. I know you got a chance to visit with Carlos Beltran. We did, yeah. There's a, there's a lot going on with these guys who are trying to come out and battle every day on the field. They know they still have a lot on the line with uh, the best record in the American League. However, like you said, there's some real-life things going on for some of these players. You think about Juan Centeno, Alex, Alex Centron, Alex Cora, Carlos Beltran, Carlos Correa, these guys uh, who love their country so much and Puerto Rico devastated right now, and they're trying to put their heads together, figure out how they can help as quickly as they possibly can. Astros coming out today announcing that Jim Crane, uh, along with the Astros Foundation and FedEx and the office of the mayor of Houston, they are putting together a, a plan here with a plane that is going to carry up to 200 240,000 pounds of supplies, and that will, the first delivery, I should say, will be there tomorrow. This is all about getting water there, drinking water, clothing, diapers, uh, the essentials for some of these people who just don't have the basics. Uh, so that happening, this is a very hard topic for these guys. However, uh, they were kind enough to, to share what's going on with these guys and how appreciative they are of the help. I've been talking to Beltran today all, all morning long. Um, I got the the phone number of the mayor in, in my in my in my hometown in order for us to send some stuff over there too. Cause there are a lot of people in need over there. Uh, it's just devastated over there. Everybody lost everything pretty much. So we want to make sure some of this stuff gets there too. So it's it's just gonna be uh, something that, that we want to do, and obviously we want to do a lot more. So hopefully we can achieve more. Oh, it means so much uh, for me, my family, and Puerto Rico. Uh, the fact that. You know, uh, Jim uh, came down uh, the last day that we played at home, and uh, he asked me uh, what help did I need. I said, Jim, you know, right now uh, there's a lot of help, there's a lot of supplies. Uh, what we need to find is a plane to provide those supplies to Puerto Rico. And he said right away, Carlos, uh, I take care of that. Uh, my foundation uh, is going to take care of that. So I'm very very thankful uh, for, for the organization, for the Houston, Houston Foundation, the ASUS Foundation, and um, I can't thank him enough. You know, um, this help is gonna get to Puerto Rico tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be able to, throughout my foundation, we're gonna be able to uh, impact the people. Uh, I have already trucks and personnel in Puerto Rico that are gonna uh, wait for, for the supplies to come put them into trucks and start providing that to, to the cities, you know, because uh, right now uh, there's no water, there's no power. Uh, I talked to my brother the other day and he said uh, they even can't find water to drink. So when you hear that and you know that your family... Times. Well, it means a lot. It means a lot to to me, my family. Like I said, the people in Puerto Rico, and uh, we're we're trying to, you know, we're trying to do a good impact in the in the city, in the people. I mean, it's tough for me to talk because uh, you know my family is there, and uh, they're going through the same that everybody's going. So. But you know what? Uh, I like I say, I, I appreciate the, the effort that everyone is doing. Uh, everybody has freely approached me uh, to to see what they could do for the country and uh, you know to the fund that I create. Uh, uh, I, the only help that I need is to promote uh, the fund that I'm that I'm that I just create and continue to raise money and uh, uh, you know and like I say, I'm I'm extremely thankful to the ad shows to the to the people that have reached out and uh and and i'm and i have promised everybody that the help is going to get there and we're going to make sure that you know every money that we raise uh, the hundred percent of what we raise is going to go to the people who really need the most and uh, now the whole country you know is, is devastated so uh, it's, it's hard to to see the people suffering like the way they are right now
too. Thank you. A lot of pain uh, there on Carlos Beltran's face, so he can't hide what he's really feeling and some of these other guys, but he has put together a plan in order to help, and it starts with his foundation, which has done great work, but there's a, a place on CrowdRise.com where we're going to give you the info that way if you want to be able to help the foundation, uh, you heard him 100% of these, uh, of all of these donations will go to those who need it most. Springer, McCann, Reddick, these guys writing big checks yesterday for their teammate, knowing how much this country needs this and, and y'all Carlos Beltran was one of the first to write a check to the Astros Foundation when they were trying to raise money for Hurricane Harvey a very giving person and he's going to do whatever he can to get his country uh, back on their feet guys.